Okay, this is today's lesson. This is for uh, dedicated to Dave Tin Bears. This is how I make a knife handle. I use a wood rasp. Here's the blade I intend to mount. Oop. There's a blade I intend to mount. Your favorite kind, Dave. Jasper. This is a wood rasp. It's a file made specifically for wood or horse hooves or cow hooves or any hooves. I went ahead to the liberty of pre-cutting the dowel. I get a little bit less movement going straight into it. All I'm doing is dressing the edge. Get all that junk out of the way. Um, well, basically you just start rasping it. Now one thing I will do before I start. I will... Uh -huh, cute. Took my end pick ink pen back inside yeah that's all right that's all right i will mark it center it find the center going with the wood grains going up and down that way okay so i know not to go past those points it's like this. I don't know if the camera's moving or not. If it is, I apologize. Okay, of course that really is not where it needs to be all the way yet, but it's getting there. thing about a wood rasp is it comes in four different grades of teeth coarse medium a little bit more than medium no, less than medium than fine and I do tend to use all four of them Now what I'm doing is adding a taper to the dowel. Go 
way, go with the fine. All that's doing is removing the uh, teeth marks, which really isn't necessary because it's going to be covered with that sinew anyway. Now, Dave Tim Bears has power tools that I don't have and probably will never have because of the cost. But a wood rasp, I mean, this whole, this at, uh, well, Home Depot sells them for the same price as Tractor Supply Company, and it was less than $10, including sales tax. And I'm sure many uh, hardware stores or stores that sell equestrian or whatever, horse stuff. All right, got a nice taper, reasonable, not perfect, but it will do. Now comes the fun part. <coughs> And this works just as well for um, a tree branch. This is the hard part, getting it started. Yep. All right, where's my blade? Uh, it will have to be wide in just a small amount. But let's get the initial cut going. I got my hand under just in case it drops. Well, you really can't see, but it is down inside the groove pretty good. Needs just a tiny bit of straightening. And I want to come back and dress this some more with the blade out of it. soon as I can find what I did with the rasp and I'm using the file uh, the, the fine the fine flat end Not exactly centered, but
that's when a flat pile comes into play. It doesn't take much. And that's it. True, you can see some marks right there. But again, it's going to be covered up with the Sanu. And the handle is a bit too long, but I'm fixing to take care of that. Tad bit too long, but yeah, so what? And if it comes out crooked, I'll take the rasp and square it up. Okay. Yep, that's reasonable. Alright, for the back side. All the work is done with the fine... Get rid of my saw mark. I know from this angle you can't tell it, but I'm trying to round the back of it off just the best I can. And I keep hitting the camera. Sorry about that. Alright, final, absolute final step is sanding this thing down. Pass is 24 grit.
last pass is 100 grit. Just that, just a hair. Glue left from the sticker. This is a wood dowel, poplar. Poplar wood. Bought it at Home Depot. Uh, could have been, could have been at Walmart, could have been at Hobby Lobby, I can't remember. Now sanding to me is necessary if you want the stain to stick. I really do prefer the course. And yes, it does cut grooves into the wood, giving the wood, in my opinion, more character. But we know what they all say about opinions. Everybody's got one just like a-holes. I'm going to go over that edge one more time with the 100, and this will be it. I'm rotating it, even though I know you can't see it. any splinters no sharp edge well a little bit no sharp edge all the sharp edges have been removed nice and smooth and that gentleman is that the next step is staining and I'll make a video on that but only if you want me to uh, there are a few tricks to staining Such as, let me level that up. Such as drilling a hole in the center and insert a screw eye, just for the simple fact that after you stain it all the way around, you can hang it on a nail, piece of wire, whatever. And anyway, that is that. Part two coming up in the next next day or two. Later on. Okay, this is the staining part. I've taken a screw eye, clamped it down the vise. Now, I don't want to go crazy. Just want to twist it down just enough to hold it. That's good. There we go. Now, this is just 
the El Cheapo Craft Wood Stain. Get it at Dollar General in the craft section. And I'm sure you can get a better quality stain at Home Depot, Lowe's, Sherwin Williams, wherever. I want to get it stirred up real good for a pop. Pop. Normally I use cheesecloth, however tonight I'm going to use, uh, what do you call that stuff, paper towels. Okay, I have sanded the outside to the point that I'm satisfied with it, uh, of the wood handle. And I suppose I should be using better quality lighting, but I'm lazy. Uh, this is maple, in case you didn't read the label. And I do stain the whole thing, even though even though the front part will be covered in sinew, fake sinew, I might add. And I put it on real thick. And I may even make a second coat. And I do not remove this for the first six or eight minutes, ten minutes. Let it sit there, soak in. But I will stop the camera. <laughs> I'm not gonna make you sit through that. Does make it look pretty though, doesn't it? And even though it's, this won't be seen, I will do that part of the dowel. Get a little bit, a little bit more stain. crashing into the stupid tripod. And I'll let that sit for a few minutes. <clears throat> Come back and wipe it down. Okay, I tore off the paper towel. Just gently wiping. Don't want to remove all of it. And that, gentlemen, is that. Now I'll leave it there. Well, actually, I'm going to bring it inside. Be sure I got that covered up. Bring it inside and let it dry. Yeah, I guess you do see a lot of uh, reflection off the doggone overhead light, but once it dries, it's ready to uh, 
Sorry. <laughs> Once it dries, it's ready. I'll come back and film the rest tomorrow. Bye.